So we're down at the pond again, and I just have to do this quick uh, film clip to follow up on the episode we did on dragonflies and mayflies. And I found this huge dragonfly when I was uh, uh, putting my net in the water. And I just took a couple swipes just to see what was there. And this guy showed up. And he is huge. He's over an inch long. Um, you can see him jetting around. Do you see how he jets around? Dragonflies can move through water either by crawling with their strong legs or absorbing water, taking in water through their abdomen and squeezing it out forcibly. And so they can jet around to avoid predators. I see his big eyes and that's because he's a predator. And the bigger eyes he has, the better he can catch his prey. In fact, just in the few minutes that I had him in this little bowl of water, he ate a mayfly, you can see I'm pointing to him at the stick, and chopped his head off and ate his head. So dragonflies are ferocious predators. They're the larva. There, he's grabbing onto that stick now. They're the larva of the adult dragonflies you see swimming around, flying around. And uh, if you haven't seen my video episode on dragonflies and mayflies, you'll have to go check that out on my YouTube channel, Nature in Your Backyard. This is a, something else that's active right now. It's the second week of April, and in your pond or lake near you, dragonflies are out there searching for prey. And you can see him swimming around using that jet propulsion. Just a terrific example of a dragonfly.